they sent me these prototype motors for testing. They didn't tell me what style of quad to put them on, just that they're a 2204, 1500 kV, and they weighed about 20 grams. So initially I thought, okay, it's gotta be on a ultralight race frame, uh, five inch, 6S, something definitely under 200 grams, and that should be perfect. Pair that with the Gemfan 5125 props. They weigh about 2.8 grams each. They've got the five mil shaft, which is perfect for this motor. Should be a good combination. When I got the motors, I did notice that they had a little wire coming out here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, so that's just an indication that this is a star connection rather than a delta, which you typically see on a race quad motor. So I jumped in CAD, quickly designed a five inch monoplate race style frame, weighs about 30 grams. So I built this up as an analog quad. It was about 180 grams all up weight. This is how it flew. As you can see, this was an absolute weapon of a quad. I was so surprised at how well it did fly. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a totally capable 6S race motor for these ultralight quads. Got me thinking though, is like, could I fly it on 5S? What about 4S even? Surely I can't fly this thing on 3S. I was absolutely amazed when I could still fly it on 3S with the same tune. I thought to myself, what else can this little quad do? I've got to try and push its limits a little bit more. So I stuck a GPS on it, thought I'd send it out for a little bit of a mid-range run. Maxed out the little Rush VTX to 350 milliwatts and built a 4S Lion pack for it just using the Sony cells. Sent it out easy, five kilometers, 80 kilometers per hour each way, no problems. So I wanted to test how long I could fly this for on a Lion pack. So I used the same 4S Sony cells managed to get 37 minutes. I covered a total of about 26 kilometers, had arm cramps by then. So then I came up with a digital version. This has to be the ultimate mid-range cruiser. I had to redesign the frame a little bit just to support a Vista and have the provisions for a naked GoPro, but it's still using exactly the same motor and prop combination. I'll be using 6S Lion and also 5S Lion for this flight. Here's a few shots I captured with the GoPro on this drone. versatile quad that I've ever flown. Nails it as a 6S ultralight race quad. Carries the Nate GoPro with ease. I've flown on 4S, 5S, 6S Lion and LiPo. Beautiful. Thanks for checking out the video guys. I'll catch you next time.